Okay, I think this is like part seven, eight. I don't even know anymore. Just got done sighting in my 40 pin. So I got my housing where I want it. Got my 40 pin hitting pretty much money. Had a couple low shots. Had to adjust my, had to change up my D-loop. My D-loop stretched. I like my D-loop at like half an inch, like right at half an inch. And it got, it was a 16 path, past half an inch. So after I changed that, I was hitting just a touch low. And then I just dropped my pin a little bit. I actually loosened up the screw. As soon as I loosened it, it just dropped a little bit, tightened it back up, shot it. And uh, so I was like kind of floating in the middle of this tape. These are like the low shots. And then I adjusted it and I was hitting here, here, off to the right. And then I got these two that were like pretty much dead level, dead center. And then a little touch high. But I mean, at 40 yards, been shooting for so long. Prior to that, I kept getting some that were like right in the middle, right in the middle. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna call it good. That is, I mean, I have one that's like literally dead center, two that's like pretty much dead center, one that's a little high, and then a, some others just like floating in the middle of the tape. So I was like, I'm gonna call that. I'm stoked with it, I'm happy with it. Before I was hitting just a touch low, I was like grouping just a touch low. I had to change out my D-loop because it's stretched. Um, but yeah, it's a long, it was a long, uh, process to get that 40 pin good. So once I get the 40 pin good, I got my housing where I want it. Um, I will shoot this through the chronogram just to get my speeds and my sight tape so I can throw a sight tape on and I'll probably run to 30, hit 30, see where I'm hitting at 30 and then just adjust my pin to where I'm hitting money at 30 and then jump to 20, hit where my, see where I'm hitting and then adjust my 20 pin to hit money. Then I can throw on the sight tape and then shoot out to the park, making sure that I got the right sight tape. But right now I'm gonna shoot about seven arrows um, through the chrono and uh, see what my speeds are getting. So let's turn it on. FPS. Okay, got my pen to mark. Let me just take out all these arrows first. Sorry if the sun is just blaring right in your face. This is the best place I can do it. Do this. Excuse the noise in the back. Construction being done. Okay, first shot through the chrono, 7,000 shots for today. Two eighty six.
Air, that arrow might not have a, a lot of glue on it. 291, holy smoke. Okay. Kind of a big jump. Six I'm just stacking these arrows. Don't like that. I'm not even writing this down, but that's fine, I can just watch the video again. See that? 287. It's just stacking them in there. Who tight, solid group at about seven feet. I'm gonna get in the sleeve for a little bit. But uh, whew. all right. Well, looks like I. I had a jump of 291. It's kind of weird. I don't know if I'm gonna just disregard that one. Pretty much was like 295, 296, 297, 295, 296, 295, or 80, sorry. 285, 286, 285, 286. So, I don't know. I might, I might disregard that last, or that, um, 291 I don't know I don't think I'm gonna throw that one up in the mix because I was like averaging 285 to 287 and then I got this one random 291 so mm. I might I might throw that one away but uh, yeah uh, that's pretty much it um Try to the crawl at all. Like I said, I'm throwing the sight tape. I'm gonna add them all up, get the average, throw on the sight tape, and then uh, go from there. Go to the park. Last time I was money. That was money. With my sight tape number, so. Cross my fingers. And pray to God that it's the right one this time, too. Because that was beautiful. I didn't really have to tinker too much. So. Yeah, let me know what you think. If I did anything wrong, could do anything better. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Shoot a bow, have fun, God bless, and uh, enjoy the outdoors. You.